Hello, hello, Genial Gamer Gal here, bringing you upcoming Switch games for June 2020. Let's jump right in and see what is coming out for this month. Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics, releasing June 5th. This game touts 51 diverse board games and tabletop games coming from all over the world across multiple genres. Play games such as chess, four in a row, slot cars, and toy boxing. Games can be played in handheld mode or you can dock your Switch and play on the big screen. You can play these games solo or play with friends locally and online with up to three other players. I will be picking this game up at a later date. This is a pretty fun party game since it has a wide variety of games to choose from, but I'm gonna wait until it goes on sale before I purchase this. The Outer Worlds, releasing June 5th. This is a single player sci-fi RPG. In this game, you awake on a colonist ship that was bound for the furthest edge of the galaxy. Decades later than you expected, you find yourself in the midst of a deep conspiracy threatening to destroy the Halcyon colony. While you explore the furthest reaches of space, you will encounter a host of factions all vying for power. Who you decide to become will determine the fate of everyone in Halcyon. I will not be picking up this version of the game, not because I don't like it, but because I already have it purchased on PC. My husband has already bought it and played it. I have not tried it out yet, but I have seen him play a fair bit of it, and it looks like a really good game, so I do actually have to check it out. I don't feel like double dipping, so I am not going to get the Switch version. 1971 Project Helios, releasing June 9th. This is a turn-based strategy game which combines military tactics and close combat. The game is set in a frozen world in which eight people, each one with its own problems and interests, join in a sort of temporary alliance in order to find one particular person, Dr. Margaret Blythe. During your journey, you will have to avoid raider attacks, investigate military headquarters, and infiltrate into the territory of a dangerous anti-technological religious sect. This game touts three possible endings depending on your strategic and personal decisions during the game. I don't think I will be picking up this game. Strategy games with military tactics aren't really my cup of tea in games. While I do have a few strategy games, I'm very particular about the type of strategy games I pick, and I'm not sure if this would be one that I would enjoy playing. Burnout Paradise Remastered, releasing June 19th. The Burnout franchise has now made its way onto the Switch. In this remastered version, you will receive the complete original game and eight main DLC packs, including Big Surf Island, Burnout Bikes, and the Cops and Robbers pack. There are also new locations, challenges, and over 130 vehicles to explore. This game also includes hundreds of online challenges and can be played with up to seven other players, eight players total. This game isn't something I'm going to be purchasing, but since I know Burnout is a pretty big franchise, I decided to add this to the list in case anyone else was interested in purchasing this remaster. SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, releasing June 23rd. In this game, you can play as SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy, and use their unique set of skills to help save Bikini Bottom from lots of rampant robots. Plankton has hatched an evil plan to rule Bikini Bottom with his army of wacky robots. This remake touts high-end visuals, modern resolutions, and carefully polished gameplay. There is a brand new Horde mode multiplayer for up to two players online and offline. And finally, there is restored content that was cut from the original game, like Robo Squidward's boss fight and more. Originally, I was not planning on purchasing this game since I do own it on the GameCube, but with it being a remake and having some added content, I think it has swayed my decision for a repurchase. However, I will be waiting for this game to go on sale as I don't want to pay full price for it. Mr. Driller Drill Land, releasing June 25th. In this game, you are invited to a secret amusement park known as Drill Land, which is 500 meters underground. 
You must dig your way to victory. Each of the five attractions in Drill Land features their own set of unique gameplay rules. You must dig your way through each attraction and defeat the final boss. This game touts updated graphics and HD cutscenes. There is also competitive multiplayer modes. You can play with up to four players on one console. Race to the finish or battle it out in free-for-all or pairs. If you like things at a more leisurely pace, there is an all-new casual mode for those who just want to enjoy digging through drill land at a nice leisurely pace. This game I will be purchasing. I actually don't have a Mr. Driller game, but I have played it in the past, so I will be adding this to my list to purchase. It is a pretty fun puzzle game. Collar X Malice, releasing June 25th. This is a visual novel style type of game. You play as a police officer tasked with restoring order, but you become the target of an attack and have a poisonous collar attached to your neck. With time running out and five strangers offering their help, you must put your investigative skills to the test. Choose your actions and allies carefully, as each clue you follow and each decision you make advances the twisting, branching story, which leads to multiple unique endings and opening new options to replay. Uncover the truth before it's too late. I will be passing on this game. This doesn't really interest me too much. Let me know what you think of visual novels and if there's any ones that you like to play. The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3, releasing June 30th. In this role-playing action adventure game, you play as Reen, or Rian, I have no idea how to pronounce his name, Schwarzer, who uncovers a dark plot that threatens his homeland. As an instructor at Thor's Branch Campus, you must train and guide a new generation of heroes into an unknown future. This game touts a deep, engaging story that pairs with an incredible cast of characters, as well as a refined combat system that has been optimized for the Nintendo Switch. This is not a game that I plan on picking up either. I have honestly never heard of this series, really, so... Coming in at the third game, I'll probably miss a whole bunch of story, I'm sure, but since I really don't want to pick it up, I'm kind of just gonna let it sit there. Let me know if you've heard of this series and what you think of it. Maybe I'm missing out on a gem. Let me know. All right, that wraps up upcoming Switch games for June 2020. Let me know your thoughts on the games coming out for the month of June. As always, thanks for watching and have a good one. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at GenialGamerGal. The links are also in the description box below. Also, be sure to check out other gaming videos on my channel, including collections, pickups, unboxings, reviews, and news. I publish videos weekly on Mondays at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. I'll see you in the next one.